Hey, today we're going to do a work van overview. So the van we're going to be reviewing today is the company van that I drive every day for my job. It happens to be a 2022 Ram Promaster 1500 high top van. Just a quick disclaimer. This video is not a pay promotion for Ram or any other vehicle manufacturer. Uh, the specs on this van, it's front wheel drive, has a gasoline engine, uh, V6, 276 horsepower, 3.6 liter, uh, variable valve timing. Um, all the maintenance touch points are easily to reach and you know very you know nice and visible um, it comes with airbags uh, backup camera uh, power mirrors windows and door locks a keyless entry push button start and electronic parking brake um, I do like the electronic parking brake it has blind spot monitoring so if you go to change lanes or, or turn left or turn right um, and there's a vehicle on your in your blind spot, it'll beep and a little icon on your, your side mirror will flash. Um, it has a tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, as far as the interior specs, you're looking at six feet, five inches of cargo height. So you can comfortably stand up in one of these high top vans. Uh, and then six feet, three inches of cargo width on the inside and 353 cubic feet of cargo space with D-rings where you can attach your ratcheting straps to secure your cargo in place. Max payload is 4,150 pounds. Although I'll be honest with you, I never carry that much weight in my van and I wouldn't feel comfortable carrying that much weight just with the shelving I have in my van and the lightweight parts that I carry every day, the van already feels heavy enough when I'm driving it, so I couldn't imagine putting a few thousand pounds of, of cargo in there. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, it also has a max towing capacity of 6,700 pounds. All these specifications I got from uh, directly from the RAM website from the manufacturer. So look at the interior. Uh, the interior is nice. Um, it has the info screen in the center, um, a, a digital gauge cluster to, to give you your you know your speedometer, your RPMs, fuel gauge, etc. Has a cell phone holder as you can see. Uh, nice thing it does have a 115 volt AC, 150 watt. Um, receptacle for a standard three prong plug and of course your 12 volt DC outlet has USB charge ports and you can charge your battery while you're driving on your iPad or your iPhone uh, the cons that I've noticed since driving this van um, and again this is just my experience the rear door will not open intermittently from the outside. I notice this problem particularly on very cold mornings here in Colorado. You'll push the key fob, you'll hear the lock mechanism activate inside the back door, but you go to pull on the handle and the door will not open. You have to go around the side door, go inside the van, and open the back door from the inside of the van. And then later in the afternoon when it warms up, um, I'm able to use a key fob to unlock the back door. So kind of a weird problem there. And I have noticed online other folks have had similar issues with their back door on these Dodge Ram Promasters, not just me. Um, and I noticed the driver's seat is uncomfortable on long drives. Uh, now again, just a, a disclaimer here, I, I do have degenerative discs in my lower back, my lower spine. Um, so I, I had to have a comfortable driver's seat. Um, I even put a, a seat cushion down on, on my 
my driver's seat just to help. Um, and with the partition installed, uh, the seats have limited adjustability as how far back you can move your driver's seat or passenger seat or how much you can recline your driver's seat or passenger seat. Uh, if you look in this picture, you'll see with the partition installed, the, the seats are right up against that partition. So there's really not a lot of adjustability to the, the seats with the partition. And the other issue I noticed when driving, the split side window design um, partially obstructs your view. So like say you pull up to a stop sign and you're getting ready to turn left um, at an intersection, you'll look to your right out the side window and that, that split window design, that, that, that piece in the middle of the two, two pieces of glass makes it hard to see oncoming traffic. And even when you go to change lanes and you look in your, your side mirrors, it kind of partially obstructs your view of your side mirrors. So that's kind of an unfortunate design flaw. Uh, and then the phone holder I noticed partially blocks the cup holders. They installed it in a weird spot and, and in my personal opinion, too low. Uh, and then the transmission can shift a bit jumpy between gears. Um, I learned very quickly that you kind of have to be real gentle and, and feather the throttle as you're getting up to speed or you take off at a green light. Uh, otherwise, it, it shifts kind of jumpy and, and aggressively through the gears. Uh, the font on the center screen, the info screen, and the gauge cluster is too small. Um, that's something I noticed um, that when you're driving and you glance down at, at you want to look at the temperature or what time it is, for example, on both screen and on the, the gauge cluster, uh, it's, it's too small. It's hard to see. So just a quick video walk around the interior of my van outfitted with the shelving and all my parts and supplies. Um, just, just a quick note here. I am a service technician. I do general repair on houses. So I do a little bit of plumbing, electrical, drywall repair, appliance repair, etc. So here's the driver's area and you can see that 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 screen is kind of small, the font, and then you can see how it's hard to see your, your mirrors. When you look at those mirrors. So as we back into the back of the van through the partition, there's sort of a grandma's attic up top where you can put lightweight small parts. I added the hinges and the latch to this door because a van actually came with this door bolted shut. You could not walk through from the driver's area to the back. And that seems silly to me. So again, we got a fire extinguisher, my go bag. There's a side door. And then you got a storage rack, got my shop vac, and water pump. And then you see we got plumbing parts, you know, flush valves, fill valves, P-traps. Then we move on, you can see we got some HVAC parts, some capacitors, contactors, bubble leak detector, some consumables up top here, light bulbs. Here's your capacitors. Switch, some batteries, garden hose. There's a back door. And the nice thing is these lights, you can push on and off. That is a nice feature. Woo! And broom, some more storage hooks. And on this side, I have more, uh, you know, consumables, um, drywall repair, uh, you know, smoke detectors, electrical supplies painting supplies, lubricants, silicone sealant, a ladder, some more tools, shoe covers, and then these uh, pull-out trays here are nice. They have a clear lid so you can see what's inside and everything's labeled. So you got some mowing parts, cartridges, etc. 
Wow. Got some other small tools in there. So that's basically it. Nice thing about this kind of van is you can outfit it for a plumber, electrician, HVAC tech, handyman, whatever. It also, we they installed this power inverter. Uh, it's a 2000 watt, uh, 16 amp power inverter. Here's the, the battery cables that run into the back to a separate 12 volt battery that sits just behind this partition. Can't really see it because there's parts in the way. But you get the idea. That works great. I ran my uh, fan off of that, my shop vac off of that inverter. I even ran my little space heater a few mornings when it's cold inside the van off that little inverter. So that's a that's a great thing to have on a on a company vehicle. The other thing I did is you'll note if you look at the side of the driver's seat, I completely took off the armrest. I never use it. I found the armrest just gets in the way when you're trying to get out of the seat. It, it was so I just simply those two they have two large uh, uh, screws you just unscrew and I left the screws in there anyways I hope this little video helps please like share subscribe leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover thanks for watching